Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm a freshwater biologist, fish biologist, ichthyologist, PhD student specialising and studying the evolution of laurel card catfishes, also known as plecos within the aquarium trade. So today I'm going to talk about tropical freshwater fishes and what do those terms mean? Well, fish, that's a whole other video of what a fish is. But freshwater and tropical, they're two totally different things that get sort of mixed up. So let's first go with tropical. Tropical refers to a temperature or a set, temp set group of temperatures. There is no strict definition. There's no this degree onwards is tropical. It really varies. It's not so much like the sort of geographic, um, what be ge geographic boundaries that we use for organisms like the tropics is designated this latitude. In the aquarium trade or in fishes we use it maybe a little bit more loosely. Which means that, and even within the tropics um, of those boundaries though, there is a lot of variety in temperatures. You can't say this temperature means tropical. It's your own definition and you have to understand other people's definitions vary as well. So I say tropical is 25 or uh, 24 or above, temperate which is kind of the mixture, that's um, 2018 to no, 18 to 24, and cold water is 18 and below. The issue is that there's fish that, it's a whole spectrum obviously, there's fishes that will exist in different aspects of that spectrum, so most of my fish require 28 degrees or above, um, and they're not going to want to go above that sort of tw uh, 34, 35 really, they can do-ish. But they're not going to want to, which means that you can't really say tropical and ex assume everyone's going to know the same thing. Other aspects of fishes might actually cross over between the boundaries. Think of Corydoras, like Corydoras sturbi, short term 25, 26 degrees, long term maybe at that sort of 23, 24 seasonally. Um, other fish that might cross it, goldfish, channa, different species of channa to different extents. Most fish. They don't, these definitions are not, they not, they don't follow, fishes don't follow his definitions I guess is the best way to put it actually. So it's very difficult to actually draw those sort of categories. And so that's just basically what tropical is, it's referring to temperature. The only issue is that people use it to refer to salinity. Which is kind of crazy because you don't go into the Arctic and it's suddenly fresh water. Um, or actually it'd be more like you don't go into um, the Caribbean and expecting no salt in the sea because that's the tropics, it's tropical temperatures. No, it's referring, tropical refers to temperature, it does not refer to salinity. And the ones that really lose out from this, I guess, is the brackish and marine because people don't really see temperate brackish, cold water brackish, cold water marine, temperate marine. And they're amazing fish like aquariums to have and people are so set on this high tech uh, method that they don't look beyond that. But it's also generalising fishes and there will be fishes that require different habitats. It's really pigeonholing and misunderstanding I think of fishes. There's Tropical does not mean fresh water at all. It's not like you go into a river in the UK and it's tropical. No, it's not. Um, it's definitely not because they're freezing cold. Um, and even then, as I've said, even within the tropics, anywhere you go, there will be differences in temperature. Largely maybe elevation or the source river, some other aspect of um, where it is to why it is that temperature. So the other aspect is, so the other thing I'm going to talk about is freshwater. What is freshwater? Well, freshwater has no strict definition. There is no, it reaches this salinity and it is fresh uh, marine now. Before that, it's freshwater. The definitions vary. Freshwater is generally low salinity. And um, by salinity, I mean NaCl, um, not, what? Sodium chloride, so the sort of uh, marine salt that you're thinking of. But bear in mind there's many different salts, and I'll go on to that in a bit. But freshwater is not one thing. Freshwater is a diverse set 
of many different habitats, ecosystems around the world. There's no one set uh, fresh water and that applies to whole entire continents as well. South America is not all soft water, it's not all low mineral content, it's not all tropical there and that's the temperature thing but people don't yeah it's not what there's a whole set of different habitats there's ones which are maybe more seasonal than others with a little bit more variation and that includes into the mineral content so there is no one set fresh water and this kind of applies to the next point I'll be making in a bit but the same goes for Africa and this is probably one of the most commonly misunderstood because we will say African cichlid and synodontis for hard water. Firstly Africa is not all the Rift Valley. The Rift Valley is a large area and it's very geologically interesting in a way but it's still not the whole of Africa. There's West Africa and the Nile. Many synodontists come from that region such as um, you've got Synodontis Shadadenae, Synodontis, um, what's it, Bichardi, Synodontis Eruptus, all more from that more soft water, low mineral content areas and even those are a bit more diverse than I even know because I've not really researched it. But then there are obviously Rift Valley individuals and this is the same for cichlids. Um, there's cichlids in the Rift Valley and there's cichlids outside the Rift Valley. It's not one set thing and neither is the Rift Valley. The Rift Valley varies massively in pH, KH, GH and actually there is measures for that strangely. Um, and also water hardness is probably just based on the whole geology of the area. But it's not just one thing and fresh water is hugely diverse. A massive thing about freshwater is that, just to show how diverse it is, over 50% of fish are freshwater and freshwater only occupies 0.3% of water I think it is. So that's an awful lot of fish in a very not much space. The rest of those fish are marine I guess or brackish. Um, and people say oh there's not many species left to find in freshwater. There's a lot, a real lot. Um, and then it's like, I don't know, there's always that bias and I think freshwater does get generalised a lot. So the next point is because I mentioned salinity, but what is salinity? Salinity is a little bit more complex because we're thinking, when we think about marine versus freshwater, we're thinking um, sodium chloride. But there's other salt. Salt is not just salt, it's not sodium chloride. There's different salts out there. So. There's freshwater habitats that do have higher salinities and the salinity will vary. So, uh, we've, so we've got like soda lakes, I think they're very high in carbonate salts which means that they're maybe not really, um, well, they're not really the freshwater people think about. And there is a lot of diversity in that, not just the soda lakes because different salts make up aspects of maybe what fishes utilise and that mineral content. But this is maybe a whole other topic. But why does this sort of, what is the difference freshwater marine, does it matter? Fishes are adapted to the different habitats and um, so the difference between freshwater marine with the fish's sake is more osmoregularity, whether they're losing um, minerals or they're struggling to sort of keep retain water or um, and then there's also waste removal I could do a whole video about it and there is adaptations between that diversity of fresh water as well because a major thing that people forget <laughs> and this annoys me because people always talk about plants but fishes uptake sodium uh, magnesium uh, do, 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 and calcium, there's a quite a few others um, and aluminium does actually have an effect on freshwater fish They're, they need, um, they don't really want high aluminium but different fish are adapted to different mineral contents and the extent we don't really know I don't think, especially if the fishes we keep but they do have different adaptations to cope with this, this shows that there is a high amount of diversity and ability to that 
these habitats aren't one thing. Freshwater fish is not one thing. Many of them are adapted to a whole range of different habitats and to different extents. If we look at like Neon Tetra and uh, Tyrophyllum, which is the angel fishes, they're adapted for low mineral content. They do it by um, either uh, having a high affinity, so trying to get as much of that, um, I think it's sodium and potassium out of the water. And then I think it's angel fishes, they actually are about preventing it from escaping and retaining as much as they can. And then with hard water you got particularly dealing with nitrogenous waste. Um, fishes, um, a lot of the ammonia comes out of the gills, so um, that's effective. But it just shows how complex it really is and fresh water is not just one thing. And I'll kind of end it here. Um, I might do a video about hard versus soft because I don't think, I think people are maybe a little bit more harsh on it than they need to and maybe a little bit soft in some cases because there's a little bit more to the science than one or the other especially when it comes to different harmless measures anyway thank you for watching if you like my videos please comment like and subscribe i do plan to do more um when i can think of what to film anyway thank you for watching if you like my yeah i said that um and goodbye.